The Las Vegas Raiders have huge issues at the slot corner position. And as you guys know, the front runner right now to start is Nevin Lawson. And Nevin Lawson is going to be out for weeks one and two. Which means who's going to play slot corner? Could it be this guy right here, Trayvon Merig? I mean, you look at him right now and he's essentially playing the slot position. Like he's pretty much manned up over this wide receiver. Now, I know TCU had him lined up pretty far back, 10 yards off the line of scrimmage. But believe it or not, last year, Trayvon Merrick played slot over 300 times. At the same time, he played free safety less than 200 times. So I'm not sure if Trayvon Merrick is an option for the Raiders. But I wouldn't be surprised if he was. Like, Trayvon Merrick is a good football player. He can play the slot. He can play free, strong. He can pretty much play anywhere you need him to play. And in today's video, we're going to break that down. All right, Raider Nation, just to jump right into this film, we're going to jump into a play against West Virginia. You're going to see Trayvon Merrick. He is lined up, I'd say, what, 13 yards off the ball. Um, but he's not that much further than the bottom corner down here. Uh, and I know technically this isn't where he'll be playing when he lines up for Gus Bradley. Uh, but the thing to watch is he is technically manned up on this slot player. And Technically, it is a catch. Uh, the slot player is going to make the catch. But Trayvon Merrick, man, he's all over it. Barely misses the ball. That's great coverage, in my opinion, by Merrick. Obviously, it's a catch. But I will say that, you know, he did play a lot of, like, man-to-man -man from the slot. And he did a lot of this at TCU. So, it begs to ask the question, like, could he do the same thing for the Raiders? in weeks one and two at the same time why not allow him to do it for the whole entire season like that's great coverage in my opinion like he's all over that he's like you know if 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 Merrick's playing slot and he's contesting balls like this I'm cool with that man even if it's a catch because chances are when they're when Merrick's in position like this he's gonna pick some passes off right like it's not like he's not going to be able to intercept passes so i didn't want to show you guys his play i want to show you guys a couple more plays where, in which he's lined up in the slot so let's just jump forward and get into those plays jumping forward we have a play from the iowa state game you're gonna see trayvon merrick lined up uh, he's basically playing the slot i mean he's you know you can argue he's still a safety technically but he's like five six yards off the line of scrimmage and he is playing between the corner and the I believe that's a linebacker. It could be a corner as well. Uh, but he's basically playing, you know, he's basically playing this um, man to man. Um, but this is going to be a run. He backs out a little bit. Um, and he does a pretty good job, like recognizing this is a run and he's going to step up and help. Now, he doesn't make the tackle. The linebacker actually does a great job making the tackle, but he's right there, right? Like, look how close he is. Um, he has his gap filled, right? At this point, this guy has this gap. This guy has this gap. And Mary can pretty much pick this gap up here. Uh, the linebacker kind of does wrap up, and Merrick's like right there in case that guy does break it. But this is kind of a nice play, in my opinion, from, from Merrick. Uh, he is ultimately coming from the safety position up to that slot position, uh, kind of helping out. Um, obviously, you see number one stepped outwards, and Mary kind of backs up a little bit. Um, TCU did this a lot, man. They brought a lot of blitzes here, and I think that was why Merrick ultimately played a lot of slot corner last year, right? Like over 300 snaps. I think 313 to be exact. Um, but let's jump forward, man. There's so many more plays that I want to show you guys and just get into. All right, guys, jumping forward to the West Virginia tape, you're going to see Trayvon Merrick lined up in the slot. He's covering the slot wide receiver. This is a pretty good job in the sense that he tries to undercut this. Now, he does allow the catch, um, but that's not what's important here. What's important, in my opinion, is the fact that he's right on his guy, and he's trying to j undercut and jump this pass to intercept the ball. The quarterback just makes a beautiful throw. This happens, but I will argue this on this specific play. Most quarterbacks do not arc the ball here, right? Like most quarterbacks will not throw it the, the way this quarterback does. In the NFL, quarterbacks want the ball to get there quickly. They're going to throw this at a straight line uh, as opposed to what this quarterback does. He arcs it up and he throws it way out here. Um, but in my opinion, this is still a good play by Merrick. Like 
he's lined up over the slot. He kind of recognizes this play a little bit later, or maybe the adjustment was made a little bit late. As you guys can see, kind of when the play begins, Merrick's kind of moving, he's shifting, and he's not really ready. He's trying to do something specific. I don't really know what number 24 here says, but whatever he says, uh, Merrick's looking at him, and then Merrick quickly makes some sort of adjustment or read, and he's trying to go up, and the play snapped. So, like, you know, I, I think he's kind of out of position. But again, uh, the point of these plays is the fact that he's playing slot. Like, could he do that for the Raiders? And I know this isn't, you know, the greatest play because it's a catch. Um, but I am looking at the fact that he did try undercutting this. At the same time, I'm going to show you guys plenty of good plays, right? Like, don't think that this is all I'm going to show you. Um, I, I, you know, I just kind of want to show you guys a variety of different plays. Um, and I will get into it, man. I'll show you guys a ton of really good plays. Again, good throw by the quarterback. But Merrick's right there, man. He's right there. So let's jump forward and let's get into some more plays. All right, guys. I want to jump forward into this next play. This one comes against Oklahoma. Trayvon Merrick is playing about seven yards off the line of scrimmage. Now, very interesting coverage. Like, you have the corner, Merrick, two other corners, all basically at the same depth all about seven eight yards off the ball very interesting coverage but this is the kind of stuff that tcu did like they would mix their coverages like on this side they'll play man to man uh, on you know this side they'll play something else right i'm not saying that's what this play is but this is an interesting play watch Trayvon merrick take this safety away i don't know if the quarterback would have ever went there um but he takes it away and uh you know obviously the quarterback still hits it on the other side um, but I'm sure Trayvon Merrick was also an option. Like, I'm 100% certain that this route, this route, were clearing routes to really just get the defense to come up, and the options were here um, and basically here. Those were the two options, and I believe the quarterback, who is a top-five pick in the upcoming draft, um, I believe he could have done went either way, but obviously, as you guys know, Trayvon Merrick, is better than you know whoever this guy is here i don't know if that's a slot corner i don't know if that's a linebacker uh, but trayvon merrick man look at that he takes that away real quick you know you can argue that in terms of depth where he's initially lined up you can argue that gus bradley will have a slot corner seven yards off the ball like that will be typical not 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 all the time but uh, that will happen right and the thing that i'm looking for as i'm going through these plays is great you know merrick's lined up six seven yards off the line of scrimmage but i want to see him line up over the the slot receiver and press him and see how he looks like um, and we're getting there you know i will definitely find some some tape and i'll definitely show that to you guys just wanted to point this play out really quickly uh, because trayvon merrick does do a really nice job he takes that slot guy away you guys can just kind of see this play from the back side and we'll jump forward and get into the next play here comes an interesting play. You're going to see Trayvon Merrick. He's lined up man-to-man -man over this guy. I believe that's a tight end or it could be a slot wide receiver. Uh, but man-to-man -man by Merrick. And you're going to see Merrick do a good job. Like, he just sticks right with this guy. Five yards downfield. He makes great contact to slow the guy down. It's not a pass interference. It's not a legal contact. And he's just all over this guy, man. And there's no way the quarterback could have completed that pass. Um great job right there by Merrick this is what I want to see you know maybe it's Travis Kelsey that you line him up against maybe it's you know another tight end for another team no fan or someone else this is what I want to see I want to see him line up uh, press a guy and just stick on him and again this is the first play that I saw of him press someone and be that close and we're going to look for more of these type of plays uh, but we'll just continue to go through these man like I have all day today to just go through as many videos as possible and I want to man I haven't done a film study in probably over, well over a month um, so I hope you guys enjoy this, man. And if you guys do, hit that thumbs up button. I, I would really, really appreciate it. Uh, you know, it does take a, t a lot of time making these videos, so I, I would really appreciate it. And oftentimes, obviously, I'm still recording, but oftentimes when I upload it, YouTube's going to demonetize it, which means I will get absolutely no benefit of spending like two to three hours making this video. But either way, man, I, I, I love this right here by Merrick, man. He does a great job getting his hands on that guy and slowing him down. But let's jump forward into the next play. Alrighty, guys. Just jumping into this next play. Again, uh, Spencer Rattler, uh, likely the, the first overall pick, to be honest. But uh, top five quarterback for sure. Top five pick, I should say for sure. 
Um, you're going to see Marriott lined up man to man once again. The uh, receiver is going to basically try to hit a post to the inside or a, sh a short post. And Marriott's going to basically just be man to man. And again, this is what I want to see, right? If he's going to play slot, what's what? How, what's he do when when the receivers run routes and try to uh, cut and do certain things? Is he able to knock the pass incomplete like you see right here? Um, understanding this, when this guy is running this route, um, understand that the, the the guy that's running this route is essentially going to the inside, and then he's going to fake it to the outside and then come back to the inside. And ultimately, that usually works, right? Like, I'm sure this play hits all the time. Um, I'm sure these are the type of plays that Spencer Rattler and this guy right here score on multiple times. But not when you're, it's Trayvon Merrick. When Trayvon Merrick's covering you, you're not going to hit on these plays. And that's just a fact. Trayvon Merrick's a great football player. He had a great college career. Um, and this is what he's done, man. Like, these are the type of plays that he's all over. Breaking up passes. And this is what I want to see. So could he play slot corner? Now, let's be honest, right? He's probably not going to play slot corner. But could he do it if, if needed? Like, is Nate Hobbs and Amik Robertson good enough for the slot? Or do we need someone like Merrick potentially playing the slot? And then maybe someone like Tyree Gillespie or Carl Joseph playing that free safety position. So either way, it's something to keep an eye on. Um, and let's get out of the slot specifically. And let's just talk a little bit about Merrick in general, free safety, uh, strong safety, and all that other good stuff. Let's, let, let's be honest, right? He's going to be a free safety for the Raiders. Right? Like 95% chance that he'll be the Raiders free safety. Will he play slot? Sure. Uh, and since this is a Trayvon Merrick film study, why not show you guys some free safety stuff? Uh, you're going to see Merrick at the top of the screen. He's roaming just the way he will like in, in the Gus Bradley scheme. Um, of course, he's playing that free safety position. There he is. And, man, he's going to find the ball. Now, he doesn't intercept it, but he does knock it incomplete. Great play by Merrick. This is what I want to see by number seven. This is what I want to see by the Raiders' hopeful potential star, man. Get in there and, and break some of those passes up. Uh, potentially almost intercept the ball. Uh, great job. Great coverage. And this is what I want to see by Merrick. Let's jump forward into the next play. Now, I do want to show you guys this play. This isn't necessarily him in the slot, but he does do a great job on this play. And this is something that Baylor is trying to do. I'll let you guys watch the play, and then we'll kind of get into it. Uh, but basically, what they're trying to do is they're trying to get Merrick to, to come up enough where the quarterback's able to slip the ball behind Merrick. And Merrick basically takes away both options. Um, here is Trayvon Merrick, and watch as the quarterback is going to get this receiver in motion. He's going to play action this or, or, you know, fake the jet sweep, whatever you want to call it. And then basically what's happening is this tight end is pretending to block, but he's going to get upfield. At the same time, this guy's faking like he's going to come out, but he's going to get upfield as well. And the idea is, is if Merrick steps up enough, they can hit either one of these two guys. But what's going to happen is Merrick does not fall for it. Merrick sniffs it out really quickly. You see the guy coming uh, down here, and you have another guy coming here. And watch Merrick basically take both options away. Like, the quarterback wants to throw this ball. He's right here. He's cocking the ball to throw it. You have a guy here, which maybe you could technically try fitting that in. Uh, and then you have, have another guy coming backside of, of Merrick. And Merrick basically shuts both guys down, right? Like, basically, neither of those guys are open. And, of course, the pressure gets there. But that is kind of what happens when you're trying to run these type of plays. You only have a five-man protection. Uh, Merrick does a good job. Great job, in fact. Taking away both options and allowing his guy enough time to, to really get into it. Uh, we can look at it from the backside angle. You see Merrick. He's, like, right off the screen on the right side. Um, again, he takes both options away, and the quarterback gets sacked. Great play. Let's jump forward. Sometimes you can tell a player is special in his movement. Sometimes he'll move right, left, he'll be running forward, and then he'll quickly shift and start running backwards. This is a play where you can tell Trayvon Merrick has something special to his game. This right here, this play, the way he moves, and I'm going to just back this up because you guys might have missed it. Um, if you watch Trayvon Merrick, Notice how he's going to start coming forward with this guy. This guy's going to run around this way. He's going to start coming forward. And then he quickly sees this 
receiver uh, basically running deep, and then he's going to basically quickly, like super, super quick, shift backwards, um, and then pick that guy up. And this is how you know, like look at him, he's running sideways basically. And then boom, he shifts his hips and he quickly backpedals. He gets his hands just to slow him down enough. Um, that's not a pass interference because he's not uh, rerouting the receiver. Um, but that right there, man, that's that's something different. I, this right here, like this play, I guarantee you when Mike Mayock and John Gruden looked at this uh, with Gus Bradley, they're probably like, yeah, that's the type of player we want right there. A guy that's fluid in his movement, a guy that can do things like that. Great play. Love the, the movement that Merrick brings. I think he's going to be such a special player for the Raiders. When we look back at this draft in five years, people are going to say, how the hell did more people not want Trayvon Merrick? How did he slip so far? And I really do think that a lot of teams are going to regret passing on Trayvon Merrick. He can play free, strong. He'll come up and he'll make a tackle, as you guys see right here. And I believe that's Dylan Stoner, the Raiders wide receiver, blocking up front right here, number eight. Uh, but again, uh, Trayvon Merrick, man, great job right there. He gets up there and boom, makes the tackle. Love it. This is what I want to see from him. Uh, you know, this was my first film study in, in a really long time. I'm, I'm a little rusty here. <laughs> um, but yeah, man, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Just a lot of talking, getting into some of the Raiders players, talking about obviously Merrick. Um, training camps right around the corner. Honestly, on Monday, I might have another film study. Like, I feel like I want to talk a little bit about Gillespie. Um, and kind of just give you guys my thoughts and opinions on him. Do like a second take. Uh, maybe Diablo. You know, he just signed this contract with the Raiders. So uh, be on the tune for that. Hit that thumbs up button. Smash that subscribe button. I really appreciate every single one of you guys. And I'll see you guys next time with another video.